Vance Kitchen. Today we are going to prepare a very creamy, rich and delicious Indian dessert made with milk, almonds, rice and other ingredients. We are going to prepare almond rice kheer. Let's get into the video. 1 cup 50% cooked basmati rice. 1 cup almonds. Soak the almonds in water overnight and peel the skin. Quarter teaspoon food coloring or you can also use saffron. 1 teaspoon green cardamom powder. 1 tablespoon butter or clarified butter. Quarter cup chopped nuts. You can use any nuts of your choice. 3 fourth to 1 cup sugar. The amount of sugar depends on how sweet you want your keith to be. 7 cups full cream milk. Add almonds and food coloring to a blender. Add required amount of milk and blend it into a fine puree. The puree should be as smooth as possible. In medium heat add butter to a pan and add chopped nuts. Saute until the nuts turn slightly brown in color. Once nuts turn slightly brown in color remove them from the pan. Now add milk to the same pan. We have to keep stirring the milk so that it doesn't get burnt. In few minutes milk will start boiling. At this stage you can add the almond puree to it. Mix well after adding the almond puree. Reduce the heat and let this mixture boil again. Keep stirring in between and scrape the sides too. Let this mixture boil for around 4 to 5 minutes or until the quantity is reduced and thickened. Now you can add 50% cooked basmati rice and green cardamom powder to this. Keep stirring and scraping the sides so that it doesn't get burnt. It will take around 4 to 5 minutes for the rice to be well cooked. Once the rice is well cooked you can add sugar to this. The amount of sugar depends upon how sweet you want your kheer to be. After adding sugar let it boil for few more minutes. Finally add some fried nuts to this. Mix well and in another 2 minutes yummy almond rice kheer will be ready. Transfer almond rice kheer to a bowl, add some more fried nuts on top and enjoy it. Try this very yummy badam rice kheer. You can replace sugar with jaggery or honey too. If you like my recipes, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.